He dropped it. He tried to pick it up. He's out. Let's see it again. Couldn't catch it. What? <laughs> Welcome back to What TV, man. It's your boy Ace. Let's head right down to Atlanta. We're going to jump straight to it because you see it. We definitely got to do it because people are being brought up on a RICO case. Yes, regular normal folk turned criminal is going down in one of the biggest RICO cases in Atlanta history. So pay attention because you can't aid and abed and aid gang members because <laughs> he's going to jail. Let's jump into it and let us know your thoughts. This poor old man is going to jail in a RICO. Drake and... Mixed out. We begin with a Channel 2 Action News exclusive. Authorities say gangs are using drones to drop contraband into prisons. And they believe the owner of this drone repair shop and one of his workers are part of the operation. Good evening. I'm George Estevez. Justin Farmer has a night off. Good evening, everyone. I'm Linda Stouffer. It's believed to be the largest criminal operation of its kind in Georgia history. Agents uncovered ecstasy, meth, guns and cell phones at dozens of prisons. New at 6, Channel 2 investigative reporter Mark Winnie is live tonight. Mark, this investigation focused on drone drops into Georgia prisons. And the key, and the key is what it kept out of Georgia prisons. Uh, Georgia Department of Corrections Special Agents says Operation Skyhawk culminated today with raids targeting one of many networks at the focus of the investigation. Networks including one involving a business called Thunder Drones and drone drops of drugs, cell phones, and more into Georgia prisons. Are you involved in drone drops of contraband into Georgia prisons? Not that I know of. We, all we do is repair drones. He was in communications with inmates within the Georgia Department of Corrections and their associates on the outside. Including gang members? Absolutely. Uh, about making drone drops, contraband drops. You don't know who you're repairing them for, who you're providing them to? Uh this man and his employee is being caught up in the biggest RICO in Atlanta history. Is this with Young Thug and them? Because they said they're wrapping him up in this RICO, in the biggest RICO. Whatever the biggest RICO is in Atlanta going on right now, they are now wrapped up into it because they have communication proof that he's been dropping drugs and cell phones into the jail. What if they drop weapons like guns into the jail, man? It's going to be crazy. Uh, most of our business is consumer business. We've, we've repaired drones for local Atlanta and interstate. We did electronic interceptions uh, on Mr. Robert Schwartz, his business here at Thunder Drones, and uh, inmates and associates of inmates. Have you broken the law? No, sir. The message that Governor Kemp gave me a year ago when, he, when I took over this job to crack down on gangs and contraband, that's exactly what we're doing here. Georgia Department of Corrections, GDC Commissioner Tyrone Oliver says corrections agents thundered into a business called Thunder Drones in Gwinnett County, armed with a search warrant. An arrest warrant for Robert Schwartz involving drone drops of contraband into Georgia prisons. I ain't gonna lie. They pulled up to this man's business like they was looking for Diddy, y'all. They pulled up like they was looking for Diddy. Look at this. This man is definitely guilty. He's going down. Listen, th th this kind of law enforcement, they ain't coming at you unless they have some type of proof already. Look how they're coming. Just for, for a drone operator, a nerd, an IT guy. They definitely have the proof. They definitely have the proof. Somebody within the jail is snitching because they also apprehended some of the um, uh, uh, guards that work at the prison as well. Let's jump into it. Search warrant. An arrest warrant for Robert Schwartz involving drone drops of contraband into Georgia prisons. He says drones shown as outside Thunder drones were among more than 50 drones seized in two simultaneous raids. And if the allegations prove true in court, he anticipates Schwartz will be dropping into prison for an extended stay. This will be the largest what? Puerto Rico case in the history of the state of Georgia. And it originated by the men and women here at Georgia Department of Corrections. The commissioner says prosecutors are working with GDC special agents to ask grand juries across the state to return RICO and gang indictments against Schwartz and many others. If you face gang and or RICO charges, what's your response? I, all I do is repair drones. I've been doing it. I've been repairing radio control things for 50 years. I, I don't know what, I, what they're even here for. We stopped uh, roughly 170 prison drops during the course of this investigation. GDC Special Agent Greg Phillips says the investigation started in November 2022 
led to the recovery of lots of drugs, including 51 pounds of what appeared to be ecstasy. But while they are not lab tested yet, Phillips says he believes many of the pills contain deadly fentanyl. He says takedowns outside prisons during the investigation, Operation Skyhawk, yielded 22 guns he believes were intended for security for the drone operations. And 273 cell phones were recovered before they made it into prisons, with a prison value of contraband totaling around $7 million. We've arrested 146 individuals associated with contraband drops. Uh, out of those 146, eight of them are correctional officers, or were. Did you have any role? No and drone drops into state prisons. No. Is that a yes or no? No comment. No comment? Did you break the law? No. The commissioner says Thunder Drones employee Nelda Alber was also arrested on charges related to drone drops of contraband and inmate communications. Commissioner Oliver says the second raid was on Schwartz's home. It's well, an agricultural sorry. drone. A drone this size could actually lift a human being. You believe this was part of the operation? Don't know yet. Still early in investigation. Yo. Look how they're at this guy's yard. Look, they're at this guy's house. Look, they got the FBI trucks out there. They're not playing. They, they, this is the only raid that I've seen compared to Diddy, okay? This guy is going down, without a doubt. I don't know if he's playing with a young thug or what. Again, if anybody knows the biggest Rico that's going down in Atlanta right now, let us know because apparently... They are being wrapped up with some of those individuals named in the biggest RICO going on right now, saying that those people have communication uh, and is working with this team to drop cell phone and drugs. So I don't know if it's Young Thug, uh, Gun is out. We don't know if it's wife and Lucci. Somebody's getting cell phones um, in Atlanta and... They're going down. They're going down in the RICO now with those people that's in jail, and then they're going to be joined on that RICO. Crazy. Let us know your thoughts. Because a RICO is serious, man. You might just, just be helping these gang members get these cell phones. You might get 8, 10 years just because you're caught up in a RICO. <laughs> Wildness. Let us know your thoughts. I don't know yet. Still early in investigation. The gloves are off. There's full transparency. We know we have an epidemic in our prisons with contraband, and we're going to go get it. Phillips says in a briefing he reminded officers the raids were on Monday, Thursday, day of Christ's Last Supper. It represents um, humility and selflessness and service to others. Feel like you fulfilled that today? Absolutely. Now, uh, Commissioner Oliver says while eight GDC officers were arrested in the investigation, it was good GDC officers who arrested them. Now, Matt Wolf says, while we were at the house, two guys pulled up suddenly outside Thunder Drones, tried to leave, and a search of the car turned up a stolen gun and a drone, and uh, one was arrested. We used photos from the Georgia Department of Corrections in our report. Wow. So some of the people were just there actually... Uh, pulling up to do some business with these people. And it's important to note, man, it's important to see... Um, it's important to see this because they could have brought guns into the jail, man. If they had brought enough guns into the jail, then they could do some serious damage um, and cause some serious harm. So this is important, man. We're going to see these people go down because they're helping criminals. And don't think that this is an uncommon practice. This is not uncommon. We could just jump in. I'm going to jump into another video just to show you that they also caught this being done at another jail a couple uh, months ago. All right? So we jump. going to jump into that video and let us know your thoughts. In Jefferson County, three men are behind bars this morning after trying to smuggle drugs into the Washington State Prison with a drone. If you take a look at this picture, you can see Jefferson County deputies were able to seize narcotics, tobacco, cell phones, and more. Officials say two 17-year-olds from Augusta were arrested, along with 34-year-old Tylub Dean El Amin. There are, all three are currently being held at Jefferson County Jail. Jefferson County says the investigation is still ongoing and more arrests are expected. So You've seen that this has been done before, all right? We just showing y'all that a couple months before that this just happened in another part of, we believe, uh, Georgia. So this is not an uncommon thing. And a lot of these drones, uh, if you're wondering how come they're not being detected, they go in sometimes in the night and quickly in the day. And these drones that they're flying are new drones that they don't make a lot of noise. So they're able to fly in real quick, make the drop, and they're in and out. 
And if you want to know, this is big business because cell phones in jails, cell phones now, they could go for anywhere from, let's say, from $700 to $2,000 for a cell phone, man, in jail, just for you could run it up for a couple months, okay? $2,000. Some people are paying $1,000 just for a cell phone. Maybe it might work for a month. $1,000. So you got to have money to do these operations and to make these transactions happen. This ain't no just fly by night and you broke. If you got to have five, $600 just a five, uh, cell phone for them, that might just work for a month. Come on, man. You got to have money. So this is big business going on. Okay? Pay attention. Tap in. Let us know your thoughts. Let us know your thoughts.